Okay, so the last thing that we wanted to show was how to do, or to try to switch out from an activity for our view to a fragment and see what that changes. So I'm going to check out um, branch 5, and I need to fix this one second. I forgot I edited something. So just revert that one back, and now I'm on the branch 5. And then this will have to reload. But you'll see now what we have is I have a um, an activity called a repo list fragment activity. And what this does is it just has a layout. It has an on create and it calls set this layout, which then has this fragment inside of it. And the fragment goes to here and um, you'll notice my I repo list view. This is this, the same contract, the same interface that I share with um, this list activity. So all I had to do was switch to the fragment, whoops, switch to the fragment and say implement I repo list view. And then it said, okay, here's the methods that you need to do to switch it out. You need to implement these two methods on repo loaded success and on repo loaded failure. And so, and then the other one was the same thing. I pass in the presenter and I pass in this, which is anybody who implements this I list view. And then it does the same exact logic. Gets my reference to the view of the interactor. And then whenever I call right here in my on resume, I say load commits, which really should be load repositories. And we should grab the, um, the thing from the intent. That goes through here. Calls load recent commits on the interactor. And then goes and gets it from the network, sorts it, and uh, returns it to our fragment through right here or right there and then uh, we update the list view using this adapter so let's see it in action and if you look at the login view you'll see that I changed it to point to the repo list fragment activity so I'm not still just pointing at the repo list activity okay so let's see what's going on in here So we can load Jake Wharton, and then it's going to do our MVP for our login, and then it's going to do our MVP for our uh, fragment. There you go. So what you can see is we literally changed, when we changed out our view, we had to change, or our interactor had no clue and didn't have to change at all. And I think that's really the power of this pattern is that we don't, or one of the powerful things of this pattern is that you can switch out the interactor like we did in the login screen, or you can switch out, or the model, basically the same thing, right? You can switch out the model, and the, uh, the view has no idea. You can switch out the view, and the model has no idea. And that's what I think, uh, that's really why I would recommend people using this and uh, to help clean up your activities um, one thing that I just kind of, uh, I, I presented this to some of my colleagues and they mentioned that because an activity is a view, at any point this activity can be torn down, right? We can, um, we can have a, so we have a reference to it in the, so basically what we have is our activity has a reference to the presenter and the presenter has an, a reference to the view, and so there's some um, kind of some circular, it's a little bit of a circular like uh, retention there from as far as memory goes. And uh, so what, um, what I've been doing kind of going forward, and I'll 
maybe update the repo to reflect this is just to use a weak reference. And this was advice given to me by uh, by Dustin Graham, who's a great Android developer. Is just to use a weak reference, and then all you have to do is when you create a new, you just create a new weak reference. And we pass in our login view, and this just kind of wraps it up so that if it's ever null, we don't uh, get in trouble. So, what I mean by it's null is if you have the activity, right, and you call a network request, and then you rotate your phone, then it's this presenter is still going to have a reference to that view. But let's say the network request takes 10 minutes, and then the person rotates their phone four or five times then because you passed in the view which contains everything that the activity knows so all every reference to every view and like the entire context there's going to be a memory leak because you're constantly recreating these um, this reference to the view so what you can do instead is say if the view dot get which just says if you haven't been garbage collected already then call view dot get dot login failed. So this is a way to just clean it up to make sure that it does exist um, before to make sure that it's not just creating a huge memory leak. So what's the other method that my interface for view has dot navigate. There you go. So that would be my recommendation is to use a weak reference for memory concerns and yeah, thanks a lot for watching. If you have questions, please uh, feel free to reach out to me uh, through the GitHub or um, through Twitter or, yeah, that would be awesome. Thanks a lot.